Yeah, oh, not a nice day, guys. We're just in Retford now. I'm gonna go and check this little market. I'm meant to be some antiques and a few bits on. Um, just gonna go and check it out because next Friday I think I'm gonna come and sell it. Apparently it's quite good, but not today. It's not a very good day. But my pal's meant to be here as well, a subscriber from channel. So let's see if he's here. Let's see what they've got. Oh yeah, and also I'm gonna go to auction house and have a little look around there. So there's gonna be a bit of footage today. Yeah, you did. You showed me it. This is what last place I had it. What? You stood about there where you are now. That's great. All right, buddy, how are you doing? Yeah, thanks. Not a very good day for it, is it? No, no. no First time I've been down here, I thought I'd come and have a look, and yeah, look at look at weather. I would blame you then. That's it, yeah, I bought it from Doncaster, like, so. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, really. It is, mate. It's Mate, it should be warm now, shouldn't it? It should yeah, be that's nice. The worst thing, yeah. No, definitely not. You're yeah, regular then, like. Yeah, we're here every Friday. Mate, this is this is my type of thing. I like old coins and banknotes and right. that. Like, yeah. I've just I've just sent some down to Royal Wood and Bassett. They've gone down to auction. Right. It's sixpence from um, sixteen hundred. William the right. third. Right. Only two known better in that grade on the whole census in forty odd years. I've got a lot of a lot a lot of bottom ends. I've got your regular runs and stuff. But if yeah. it's a bit special, I send it for grading now. Yeah. And I'd rather pay that little bit more because then between me and you as a collector, we don't argue of it grade, no, we don't argue of it price. It's right, yeah. it's what it is it's on tin. Is, yeah. Yeah. Because it's a very subject thing grading, isn't it? It's, it is, yeah. It's one of them like, well, you're going to say it's VF or it's yeah. fine, and then I'm going to say it's this or yeah, unsuit, you know? Yeah. It gets a bit. Older, a lot of it, yeah. That's I tend it. not to bother. I let people make up their Make their own decision, yeah. yeah. That's the price I want for it, and uh... see that—that's what I always do. I always like I'll have a look what they're going for. I look for the market. If I can beat the market price, yeah. I'm happy with that. How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. Oh, pumping into everybody. How you doing? All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah not bad, mate. Not yeah. bad. That is shite, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Boy, it's weird, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just looking through this album of banknotes, nothing jumped out. There were no exciting serials. Like I've said, a lot of serials do fall under the same banner. For, for these notes, book price, anywhere again, 15 up to £30. But that would have been book price, and some of them weren't even top grade. Like that one there, looks good, looks quite about an uncirculated, but 
I've got it's not. Way, it's way, definitely not. I've got a contest on you wouldn't even be getting extra fine with that. It'd be lower, and for before. that price, it's too high. It'd probably be where I would be selling it. To be fair, guys. So, for your average Joe public to be buying, not bad prices. But for me, no. We will do a full episode talking banknote grades. I'll show you varying, varying grades, different grades, what to look out for what cereals, column sorts, replacements, etc. And also, my brother will show you all coins, so we'll give you a good in-depth video. We'll do that soon for all you coin and banknote enthusiasts. A nice little market, guys, but raining today. Obviously, there won't be many public there. But more my type of thing, antiques, collectibles, there are good, nice few little stalls there. Nice little healthy bit of competition. So yeah, hopefully no, I can get there on a Friday like. and it'll be a new place to put some stuff out. So in the next couple of weeks, you might see some footage. Like, so stay know. tuned for that. Yeah, not, not good for it, like. No, no. It's usually quite busy, like, because it do, usually do all right. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad little spot for it, like, as well. It's quite yeah, nice. It's nice, nice, nice market, really. Yeah. There's a few more here. Yeah. It's the shame well, about it. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Hard calls keep going though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh look, my stall, my stall stands just next to you. Look, yeah, just there. <laughs> These one, two, three, four are always empty. Are they? Yeah. What, what's, um, what, 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 what's rent on it like? Uh, 15 quid. Did you get that other day? Yeah. It? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen did, it. Yeah. I've seen that yeah. other day, yeah. yeah but, oh, no, I'll have to, I'll have to have A little it. bit dry. I think it needs a bit of moisturiser, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, my little in would be freaked out with that. It just, it just brings people to your stall a little bit. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? That's what I'm saying is it's sometimes good to have stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I just like collecting stuff like some of these. I like things. it, it looks very good, mate. We had some Matt Roy Lichtenstein pictures there, but I've sold them. I know I'm going to bring a couple of pictures as well. Um, oh, look, it looks very good, mate, it does. I literally got. Oh, that trumpet there, do you know what I mean? It's... Yeah, yeah, anything like that. I'm, re I'm recording, by the way, I just thought yeah, I'd let yeah, you know, but I'm just. You'll be, you'll be on my channel tonight. Oh, this is all. Uh... <laughs> The stuff what you saw. Yeah, oh yeah, I didn't even <laughs> recognise them, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. One, that one wasn't. Yeah, the blue one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, those two are. Yeah. This one wasn't, this no. is a different one. No, they look nice though, don't they? I'm redoing this one because uh, I don't like this, looks like a pair of tits, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 so I'm ripping that out, I'm yeah. re relining it with yeah. the screen cloth stuff I've got. No, it looks very good, mate, it looks very good. Like I say, you just need a few bits to fill it, that's when you say, yeah. when you're looking for your yeah. smalls and that, yeah, innit? That's it, yeah. Yeah, I sold them two cabinets well, with blue one. onto well, him. I sold big, quite a few um, to him actually, but yeah, he was dead chuffed with him, guys. And yeah, um, store looks good, like I've said. So if you've not there. been to him, if you ever do yeah. go to Retford, go down to stalls, tell you've seen him on YouTube, spend a couple of quid with him. You know how it is, guys, support the community. Is that where you sell out of it? Like, you selling it in there as well, like? Yeah, selling it. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, so, though. Uh, what time did you start here, then? I was here about seven. Like I've said, guys, a good mix of stuff on this market. Just a shame where they want right. But hopefully we can get some footage there selling, so stay yeah. tuned for that. Now, up and coming, some footage for the auction. A little bit of a sneak yeah, peek go for tomorrow. Just got to auction house now. I'm going to have a little look inside. That gains the market won't bad, but I'll do an update when we get there. <laughs> Alright, bud. Hey, mate. Yeah, mate, yo. Yeah, Yeah, there was, there was... Alright, lads. Alright, it was quite good. It was... It was no, it was professional. The way, the way they do it all, it's clever to watch.
Yeah. 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 Like you say, we're always interested in having a look anyway, because like, there can always be something, you know. Yeah. A good selection of mammods on this week. There's plenty there. Look at them car ones, guys. They're, eight, they're nice. The last one as well. Yeah. Filled it up, got it heated up, got it on. Seemed to be a bit of leakage, so I don't know if it needs a bit of a repair, so I'm going to get someone to have a look at it. But tomorrow I've got someone saying that they might buy it anyway, so hopefully I can sell it tomorrow anyway, either way. But it's a shame. Absolute shame. But there's loads of mammoths on this week. But particularly, I'm just really looking at them stamps. But I'm still having a little browse, see if it pops out to me. I do hope you're liking this content, guys. If you are enjoying it, make sure you put the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It just helps me in algorithm. Stick some comments in there. And remember that giveaway. If you've not entered it, it's a video before this. Enter that on the Royal Wharton Bassett free silver giveaway. You've got till to tomorrow. And I'll enter you all in and we'll do the draw. Some PlayStation games on this week as well, guys. And to be fair, there's some good ones in there. Um, we'll just have to see what they go for. I'm, I'm going to put some bids on, but like I say, there's um, stamp albums, six stamp albums. There's a few Roman coins coming up soon. There's Xboxes games as well. I might even put a few bids on them. So there's a few bits. I've just got to spread the money wisely. I've got about a £200 budget this week. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can come home with. Have they been magnet tested these? Not a clue, mate. Because the denarius, they should, I mean, they should be silver. They should be silver. I've got a magnet in car. I've got a magnet, I don't know if I've got one in car. They look silver to me. I feel dense, but they could be. Just that one, I'll get oh, no, that one. Oh, what I'm checking for, I get a lube, but I check it for if it's been cast or struck. There's a total difference. If it, 
If it's been stuck with an armor, it won't be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If it's been cast, it'll go bubbly from casting, and there's a lot of fakes from China about. Um, these look alright. These one looks right. Though. Yeah, these are good. These are Can good. I just take it out? Just have a just just, just have a feel. Of it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's a nice ancient. Yeah. Something like that. And shout out to guys in auction house. They're always sound, always polite, and they let you have a look at stuff. Brilliant place. A good place to spend your money, guys. As soon as I seen them, I thought they were ancient. This is fat. Ancients guys are a minefield as well, but if they come at right price, well, we've said we're going to get them. We do have a little bit of a soft plot, but we don't particularly know too much about ancients. I've got one in car. Yeah, it's nice grade though. Yeah, it's all right. It's just dick on there. Yeah, it's I'm early middle 1600s to like Lake Victoria. It's really nice. Ancients, yeah. Hopefully, so mill, mill coins and machine press. I'm going to start right doing price. machine press here. The 16 will be interested in them. So I need to remember these like uh, three, four. Uh, Ticket Tick on that one there, look. Like, you might be selling three, it a lot. Four, there, look. Yeah, I think the bird's going to be. 3,136. Over 1,000 grand then. 2,150. 3,338. Total weight, that would be the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, can we just have a look at these? Can we just look at that tray out and have a look on that? Is that yeah. alright? Nice thing. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Okay. It is when it fits, when it fits. Perfect. It's like Gaelic or something like... I don't know, it looks yeah, like medieval um, style, doesn't it? Yeah. Like Gaelic or... Egyptian. No. Mm -hmm. Angels are with you, mm -hmm. and a gift from around above. Wow, it's got like an inscription inside it. It's got price on that silver chain. It was 95 grams, so you're looking at about £59 just in scrap. Scraps at 62 today while I'm recording this. The other one's 30 gram, but even on that 9 carat, you're looking at £21 a gram on scrap. And there's, there's 10 gram there in that little chain. So if they come at the right price, guys, I might have them tomorrow, but let's see what it goes on today. Let's see how they do. Oh, yeah, I've got one on your wrist here. Hang on a minute. You've got a bigger neck like... What's that? An ounce. 28 gram? 30 gram? 50 odd, 50. Is it? Okay. That's nice. What, that, what, what was that one you had, Joe? Um, How many gram? Like 100 or something? 116 gram. I think it's in the office. He's ringing me. <laughs> what pocket ringing? Anyway, there's a lot of articles on there about like, what's been stolen and so forth. Like, my clothes have been slapped, so... Got a few new number, I think
stuffy Victoria fucking things. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a start. Just having a little look through them stamps before we go home. Just having a check and writing down which ones we want to make a bid on for tomorrow. Like I said, there's a few little lots in here, but not too much this week. Yeah. But if you are liking this content, guys, remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, thumbs up. Welcome back. And again, I don't know if I'm too close to the camera because I've got all these books and stuff behind me. But yeah, what an interesting day. So... Went to, um, I was going to say Gainsborough, I don't know why I want to say Gainsborough. I went to um, Retford, I went to Retford Market this morning as you've seen, and weather was, was terrible, but I thought just this morning to go down and have a look and see how busy it was, but obviously it was raining, so I thought that would be the plan anyway, so went down, had a look. There were quite a, a bit of coins on there, there were like the banknotes that you've seen, but there might be a little bit of competition there as well, but it's healthy it's nice it's good so i might be trying to hit that up on friday i need to really get details and get hold of somebody but there looks to be a bit of space so another place under my belt that i can sell it live and be out there doing my thing so i thought i'd go and check that out and then as you see we went straight to auction house after that not too much in there this week that i'm after um, I've had my eyes on them stamps, as you've seen when our Sam got there, we ran straight over to them stamps, a bit like Gollum. Um, we're not professionals in stamps by any means, we do know a bit, our Sam knows a bit, I know a bit. But from looking at them, again, there is some rarer ones, some early Queen Victorian ones, but especially that era, even Queen Elizabeth ones do well. In there, I think there were maybe nine, ten lots of stamps, but there's four that we're interested in. Um, a couple of lots, so I've not put a reserve on the late on. I might put a reserve on after I've done this video and uploaded. But I'm going to probably go for them this week. And there's some PlayStation games that I want. There's a few good PlayStation games in there and Xbox 360. But there's no too much in there. Oh, there were some Roman coins as well. But again, didn't have my magnet. And Roman coins, again, there can be a lot of fakes. Like I've always said, when there's money, collectibles, there's always going to be fakes, guys. But you can always have a look by looking if they've been cast. They look good. They do They do look good. But again, if I had a magnet to double check, but I, had, I didn't have a magnet. I asked them if I had a magnet. I'm going to start carrying a magnet with me to test them. But they looked all right. Denarius, if they don't go for too much, I'm going to put a bid on them. But again, you sometimes get about 50, 60 pound on, on the coins individually. You might, you might even be able to fetch a little bit more on a good day but ancients aren't really our thing but they're still good to get under your belt and if they come at the right price there's a few people that go there but they like the bullion they like silver there's a little bit of gold on this week so them little ancient coins there's not much silver weight there so they might come at the right price hopefully they do it's a nice little bit of ancients to put out there because it's been a long time i've only got a couple of ancients left and most from the low grade but yeah i've that's the main bits and that's the main lots that I'm hoping for on auction. Um, like I say, when I went there this morning before them banknotes, were looking through them banknotes, none of them cereals were high cereals. Looking at them, um, some of them were £20 notes, £15 notes. It is priced for about £10 all the way through. Some of them were 15 some of them were 20 and one were at 30 And for uncirculated in that note, and it wasn't uncirculated, so a little bit pricey, but they, were not, they weren't they bad prices. They would have probably been where I would have been selling it, so no point me buying just to sell them for the same price. I had a little thick through, but no, no too rare, guys, no too. The, the Maryland Loafer, 
Again, Marilyn Loafers for £5. You can do really, really well on them. She was the first English female, the first female English banker for the Bank of England. So, in the collector's thing, she's pretty hot. Even the £5, they, they bring a good high price to demand. The paper notes, you want to be looking for the last series paper notes, or even the 90s, but the last series, they do best. The last ones that have just gone out of print before the polymers. That's the series that you want to be looking for, which is Series E. So if you do want to be looking for them, the Series E you want to be looking for. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it today, guys. So hopefully I'm going to get myself to auction tomorrow. I'm going to get myself to talk to you, weather dependent. If it's all right at talk to you, I'm going to be there, get with you a few bits. And Monday, I've got another auction and I can't wait to show you this. It's going to be good and it's going to be interesting. And hopefully it'll be a bit of a laugh and you'll be like, what, what? you know so i'm not going to tell you what that is so do stay tuned for that there's a new one so a new few new places we've been today guys so do stick along there's going to be plenty more videos i do hope you've liked this content and remember the giveaways tomorrow as well for that one tenth of the silver ounce coin so if you've not watched that video go back it's obviously not going to be one before it'll be one before that you'll see royal Wotton bassett auctions free silver for my viewers click on that get your comment in before tomorrow night and we'll let you in any questions, any comments, just get them down below, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.